Greetings Church, Thursday afternoon. Great to see you or to be seen by you. Uh, I'm back in my office. I'm not down cold this week, unfortunately. A great place to have been and have a bit of time out to seek God and just to hear from God a bit. Uh, I, I would encourage you, if you are ever interested in doing a prayer retreat, I put a little thing up on our Facebook group. Feel free to download that file. It's very, very good and it's there available for you to use anytime. Church, I want to tell you something. I value God. I appreciate the fact that He loved us, He loves me, He loves you. But because I love God, I, I value people also. You see, you matter to God, and God's people matter to God. So the church, you're God's people, you matter to God. And of course you matter to God, you matter to me. That's the way it's meant to be. Look, it's been so good to see so many people back in church of late. Um, last week, what a great attendance with the baptism. I'd encourage you to keep being here. We, we love it when people show up. It's just not quite right when you're not here. And I know you get a chance to see church online and I, I value that as well, guys. You have to understand, uh, if you can't get to church, I think it's wonderful that you're joining us online and I really want to hear from you. Just type in that you're there. Type in on that day or, or send us a message saying, hey, I saw church, it was so good. Uh, just let us know that you've been attending. It's good. We want to be able to care for you properly, and that's important. See, there are sometimes there are valid reasons why you can't get to church. It could be sickness. Coronavirus time has told us if you have a cold or flu, you're not meant to go to church. It could be another thing. It could be the fact that you're working that day and you just can't get out. I hope, in your case, in my case, we won't stay away just because we couldn't be bothered. That's not Jesus. He, he went to the cross. He died for us. He was so committed to us, and I wouldn't ask to be so committed to him. He's that kind of God, and he is that worthy. He deserves the best we are and the best we've got to give him. So we need to be committed to Christ, and when we're committed to Christ, we're committed to his body. And that means pretty much every week. See, as a leadership community, we got together the other week, and we discussed what is the minimal involvement that we look at for people to really be disciples, because our job as Christian leaders is to help make disciples. In fact, if you're a disciple, your job is to make disciples. We want to encourage other people to follow Christ just as we follow Christ. And if you're not following Christ, well, you can't help others. So I want to encourage you to be a Christ follower and be a disciple maker. I want you to be committed to Christ and Christ's body. Be part. If you can't get to church on Sunday, why not be part of a home group, a small group, a connect group? Yeah, we're probably going to start change that name sooner or later to Connect Group because we want you to be committed and connected. And Connect Group sort of hold that meaning for us. Um, I want to explain it. I think I might have said it last week about fingers and a body. See, my hand has the, all these fingers. And the hand is attached to my arm. My arm is attached to my body. Now, I, I worked with a bunch of carpenters and, and in one crew, five of us, two of them had a finger missing. It's pretty old school, isn't it? You know, they were older carpenters and they'd lost their fingers or, or whatever. You know, their bodies managed to do things pretty well. Not quite as well. It was a little bit hard for them. Hard opening cans. You can't pull a ring pull when you don't have a, uh, that, that pointer finger. It's very, very difficult. You have to use another finger. Well, the same is true of the body of Christ. If you're not here, we might manage without you. Oh, but it's so sad. We would rather have you here. But this is the serious part that I do acknowledge, acknowledge of this, is that finger, it does not survive when it's disconnected from the body. Being a Christian means you be committed and be connected. We do need to be committed, committed and connected to Christ's body. Jesus died to save us. And he didn't die to make us just get to heaven. When we die, he died to bring us into community with him, relationship with him, and relationship with one another. We are the body of Christ. Well, this Saturday, we have a men's breakfast. Our guest speaker, John Zickendorf, the only Tasmanian who has climbed to the top of Everest. If you're not coming already, please let us know immediately, as quick as you can. We need to make sure we have enough food for you. If you rock up on the day, I'll go without just so you get it. Uh, but I'd rather have my, my breakfast that day too, if I can. So I'd rather that you let us know. Bring a friend, do whatever you can. Now John will also be with us on Sunday. So ladies and, and men, if you don't get a chance to hear him on Saturday, you will get to hear his story on Sunday. It'll be wonderful. And I'd encourage you, bring a friend along. Brings people, if you know people, 
who have an interest in this kind of thing, bring them along to here. It would be a great opportunity to come bring someone to church and to invite a friend. I'm just looking at my notes, but I have a few things here. On Sunday night, there's one more thing I wanted to let you know about Sunday, is we've got our prayer meeting, our monthly worship and prayer night. Now, last month, heaps of people joined us online, but I'd love to see you in person, as many as, as you can. Let's come back to the building. We can be here. There's enough opportunity and enough time. We're coming in, in the spring. The weather's warmed up a little bit. It's not so bad. And even if it's raining, I want to encourage you, why not come out and pray with us? First time we did it, we had over 40 uh, people here. It was an incredible night. And I want to encourage you, when the church prays, God hears. Uh, look, the prayers of one person God listens to, but the prayers of many in agreement, God pays attention. On the, for, on the day of Pentecost, the Bible tells us about 120 people praying in one accord. And that means you're praying in agreement and you're praying in faith. I'd like to encourage you to be here. Let's worship God together and let's pray together in faith. Who knows, God might just turn up and we might get revival. That's the thing I'm praying for. I can't wait to see God's people praying, seeking God's face, loving Jesus together and loving each other. See, when we seek God, God, God is honoured and God turns up. God is looking for people who will seek his face. So when we seek God's face, things will happen. Church, God bless you. Have a great day today. Looking forward to seeing you on this weekend. If you do have to go away, make sure you join us online. God bless you heaps. Bye.